Hello everyone, this is Alex Asmacher once again for We Talk UAV and today we'll be talking about the Phantom 4 Pro camera settings but they will mostly work on any kind of drone. For those who know me from my videos you know that I just don't like telling people which settings to use but I rather want them understand what they are doing and how these settings work in order for you to take better decisions when filming or shooting. We'll go through what is sharpness, contrast and saturation and we'll be comparing them and finally we'll talk about the settings I use when I film. Now, Let's go inside. Before starting, let me tell you that the footage you'll see is taken with the H.264 codec. I know most of you have told us that you have problems with the H.265 codec and we found out that in order not to have those problems and that your editing software works fine, you have to change the format and film with the MP4 format and then most editing softwares will work just fine. This is just a quick tip, change from the MOV movie format into the MP4 format and you'll be able to work with that. Now let's talk about sharpness. First of all, what is sharpness? As a main idea, it is a subjective perception of acuteness, which means sharpness related to the edge contrast of an image. Plus, important to know, an image with higher acuteness appears sharper, but this does not affect the real resolution. I've done some tests using my Phantom 3 Pro with sharpness on zero, and the Phantom 4 Pro with the same sharpness, and there is a slight difference. Of course, the Phantom 4 Pro includes now a bigger sensor, delivering higher quality not only in sharpness. However, recently I've received through my drone course three or four people who bought the Phantom 4 Pro complaining about the Moir or Moiré effect. Take a look of what this means. As you can see on this image here, the Moir effect, properly explained, is a visual perception that occurs when viewing a set of lines or dots that is superimposed on another set of lines or dots, where the sets differ in relative size, angle or spacing. Well, we can find this effect on this fields right here. The Phantom 4 Pro has some struggle, also the Phantom 3 series on sharpness. And we all know that we don't like those crispy images with a high sharpness from our Phantoms or any kind of drone. Just lower a little bit the sharpness in order not to get those crispy images. So it's safe to say that you should always be shooting with the sharpness below zero at least. One of the worst things you can do with your footage is to film it with a high contrast. That high contrast is in most cases impossible to solve or correct in post-production. Every pixel needs to have the correct amount of information of whites and blacks, and we don't want to crush them when filming. These cameras, even having a great dynamic range, struggle when shooting with high contrast. Let's see now an example of what I'm saying. This is the same picture left with way less contrast than on the right. On the right there is information I'm not able to recover in any way. However, on the left I can still do some things to get a better result. Saturation defines a range from pure color or 100% to gray 0% at a constant lightness level. What happened on contrast happens also on saturation. You can recover saturation and saturate your footage, but the other way around is quite complicated. If you have an oversaturated clip or footage or image, getting, let's say, to a more cinematic look will be hard work and almost impossible. So here you also want to have a negative number. Now that you've seen the differences and understand what each setting is, feel free to spend as many hours as you want by testing everything. As in any kind of art, drone photography and drone videography takes a lot of time to master. You have to shoot and shoot over again, test in post-production, make mistakes, shoot again, make mistakes again, and after a while you'll be close to the level you're aiming for. And camera settings are a vital part of this process as they will approach you closely to the final level you're seeking for. So don't think that testing everything is wasting your time. Do it. Just do, do it! it. <laughs> 
Now the camera settings that I use for filming my videos are sharpness minus one because of those crispy images the Phantom series gets. And I also don't want to go very low in that number cause you may get some blurred images and I don't like that either. Contrast at minus three in order to protect that high dynamic range that our cameras have and to get the best out of my footage in post-production. And saturation at minus two, cause I don't really like the minus three saturation, it's too much for me on this camera, but it's, this is up to you. Also trying to get those vivid colors back in post-production and not the other way around. And so, those are the settings that I use for my videos. Well guys, I really hope you liked the video, learned a bit, leave a like, leave a comment, ask us questions, subscribe, and I don't know, of course always, keep calm, and talk UAV.